Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to go over the new setup for Dead Space 2 using ENB and SuiteFX. If you'd like to download and add these files to your game, I will leave a link under the video, and you can get them here at ModDB. And once here, you just want to click the download now. Once you've downloaded the file, you just want to open that and minimize your browser. Next you'll want to open your game folder. If you're using Steam, then you can just go to your Steam library and go to the Dead Space 2, right click, select properties, local files, and browse local files. Now I'm using the origin version, so mine is grayed out at the moment, but I'll just show you here with one of my other games as an example. So it's right click, properties, local files, and browse local files, and that should open the game folder for you. You can also do it through this PC by going to your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, and common, and you'll find your game folders there, and you would just open the Dead Space 2 folder. As I said, I'm using the Origin version, and in order to open the game folder for Origin, you can just go to your C drive, Program Files, and Origin Games, and you'll find the game folders there. And then just open that Dead Space 2 folder. Once you've opened your game folder, just take the contents of the download and drag and drop that into your game folder. You can close the download, you're all done with that. Leave the game folder open and start the game to make sure that everything is working correctly. Use the pause break once you're in game to make sure that it is enabling and disabling correctly. And if so, when you exit the game, just close the game folder here. And you're all finished up. Now this next part of the vid video, I'm just going to go over a few things such as troubleshooting and changing your settings or your preset file if you wanted to do some alterations. First I'll start with the troubleshooting. If you should happen to start the game and the game crashes or it does start but you don't get the correct graphics or texturing, then go back to your game folder here and go to the Alt D3 D9 folder. You'll find four folders inside here and each one actually contains a D3 D9 DLL. In some cases, depending on your video card, you may have to alter this. And if so, just copy it and then paste it into the game folder over top of the existing one. Test the game again and see if the issue is corrected. If so, then when you exit the game, just close off the game folder here. If it doesn't work, then again, go back to the Alt D3 D9 folder. Just go down to the next one and do the same thing. Copy and paste that into the game folder over top of the existing one and test the game again. And you can go through each one of those four and one will normally work if for some reason you need to change that for your video card. Now as far as when the game's actually running, if you notice that the add-on seems to cause any lag or FPS issues, then what you want to do is go back to the game folder here and go to the EMB series I and I. You'll want to go down to the global here and the allow anti-alias. You'll want to set that on zero and then save and close the file here. Run the game and that should correct any lag or FPS issues that this may cause if this does cause any problem like that. Now as far as your sweet effects settings, you don't actually make alterations to the Sweet Effects settings text here. If you were to check the Sweet Effects preset here, you'll notice that it's actually directing it to the Sweet Effects presets Dead Space 2 text. And you can find that by going into the Sweet Effects presets folder 
and you'll find the actual setting file here. You can go into this and make any changes that you'd like. One thing to watch for if you start the game and the game is really dark and saturated looking, unlike the actual pictures and videos and such that I have of the game running with this, then what you want to do is just go to that define use SMAA anti-aliasing and set that to zero. And then again, just save and close the file. If you notice, I'm using the 1.5 version of SweetFX. So if you do decide to change the preset file here by say going to the SweetFX site where they do have quite a big selection of different preset files that you can actually download from their game list. And I think the dead space is about 18 here, maybe. Dead Island. Here we go. Uh, dead space one. So what you would do is just go here and any files marked 1.5 or lower, you can use those to swap with the existing preset file. As well with Dead Space 1, it did come with an alternate preset file and I have that here. So if you wanted to use the alternate preset file from say the Dead Space 1 here, you could go in and you could put this one into the preset folder and either just rename it to Dead Space 2, the same as this one and put say an X on the end of this one's name so the preset file refers to it or just copy this name here completely and just go back to the preset file and enter the new name here. Either way it will refer to the new settings file and you'll just want to save that Alright, so that basically covers everything as far as troubleshooting and if you want to make any adjustments or changes to the actual SweetFX settings files. And one thing just to finish it off that I like to do with my EMB and SweetFX setups for my games is just adding the game EXE to clean them. Now if you're not familiar with clean mem, I do have a video for setting that up and you can watch that by checking the playlist link under the video here as it is a part of the playlist. Now if you have watched that video then you'll know what I'm doing here and that's basically just copying the exe name in order to add it to the clean mem. And you just want to start your clean mem settings wizard and go to that only list that we created in the setup video. Click the plus, paste that name in there and say OK and it will become part of the list here. And then just say next and finish and you're all finished up with the clean mem setup also. Now if you'd like to see more videos like this and content please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise thanks a lot for watching. Take care and I'll talk to you again.